Okay, so today we are looking at 11.2, which is using and converting metric lengths. First of all, we need to understand what metric lengths are. So what does it mean when we talk about metric lengths? When we talk about metric lengths, it's just the different types of units you already know. Um, and we use these to identify how long objects are. So for example, centimeters, meters, millimeters and kilometers are examples of metric lengths. Now the reason we have these is so that we can measure different things using different lengths depending on what we need to measure. For example, you're not going to use millimeters to measure the length of a road. That's going to be a massive number and we're not going to be able to do that without making a lot of mistakes. So that's why we use kilometers to measure roads and millimeters just to measure uh, very small objects. So those are the sorts of things we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at converting these lengths into different uh, other lengths. So for example, we might convert from centimetres to kilometres, or we might convert to from um, metres to millimetres, something like that. So we're going to be doing that today. First of all, I want you to see if you can estimate the size of the desk that you're sitting at now. So whether you're at home or at school, um, whichever desk you're sitting at, or find a desk in your house if you're at home, um, and estimate how long you think it is. And which measurement will you use? Will you use metres, centimetres, millimetres, kilometres? I hope you didn't say kilometres, um, or even metres. So um, work that out and pause the video while you do this. I want you to um, get a ruler and then check your work. So check to see how close you were to your estimation. I want you to measure that in centimetres. So you should have probably estimated it in, in centimetres for your desk. I also want you to work out this um, problem here. If you lined up your desks from end to end, so next to each other, um, how many of your desks would be needed to make one kilometre? So I'm going to check that when I see you next time and see um, how you went with that problem. Okay, so when we are converting metric lengths, so we're changing from one metric length to another, so for example centimetres to metres, like I said before, when you are converting to a smaller unit, so from metres to centimetres for example, you need to multiply by a power of 10, because there are more centimetres, there's 100, 100 centimetres in a metre, so we, obviously the number will be bigger, the amount of centimetres, um, will be bigger than the amount of meters and when we're converting to a larger unit you need to divide because obviously um, if we're converting from meters to kilometers so there's a thousand meters in one kilometer so you'll have 1000 meters but it's only one kilometer so you need the number is actually going to be lower even though it's worth the same Okay, so smaller unit you need to multiply, a larger unit you need to divide. And when you do these, remember our rule of multiply right and divide left. Now, this is very important here. This table, I want you to write this down. This whole thing needs to be written down. And you really need to refer to this table when you are doing this all the time. Um, so here it's got that one kilometre is a thousand metres, one metre is a hundred centimetres and one centimetre is ten millimetres which you should remember. Now you can see on this table it, talk, it looks at when we're converting from millimetres to centimetres you need to divide by ten. From centimetres to metres you need to divide by a hundred because there are a hundred centimetres in a metre. And when we're converting from metres to kilometres, you need to divide by a thousand because there are a thousand metres in one kilometre. So that's if we're converting from a smaller to a larger unit. And if we're converting from larger to smaller, 
then you need to multiply. So kilometers, so there are because there are a thousand meters in a kilometer, when you're converting to meters, you need to multiply it by a thousand. The same sort of thing with um, meters to centimeters, multiplying by a hundred, and then centimeters to millimeters, we're multiplying by ten. So please make sure that you use this and understand it and remember. Okay, we're going to do a couple of examples now. So what you'll be asked to do is convert to the units in brackets. So for the first one we have 3 metres. You need to convert that to centimetres, so from metres to centimetres. Now, can you see something wrong with my working out? Um, yep, yeah, my equal signs are not underneath each other. So you need to make sure that when you are doing your working out, your equal signs are underneath each other. So I'm going to write this again. So, when we're converting, so 3 metres equals, now to convert to centimetres, let's have a look down at our table. So if we're converting from centimetres to metres, I'm oh, sorry, metres to centimetres, we have to multiply by 100 here. Okay, so 3 metres equals 3 times 100 centimetres. So 3 metres will equal 300 centimetres. Now you guys could probably do that by yourself without even showing the working, but you must show your working. Alright, so that was an easy one to start with. Now, things get a bit harder when you're trying to convert between units that aren't really the next unit next to each other. Okay, so you can see this one, we have to convert... 25,600 centimetres to kilometres, all right? So we have to convert from centimetres here, past the metres, and then to the kilometres. So that's a bit trickier, but it's very easy once you know how. So what you need to do is have a look here. So we're converting from centimetres to metres, we need to divide by 100. And then converting from metres to kilometres, we need to divide by 1,000. So all you really need to do is add up the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then divide by that. So here we've got 25,600 centimetres equals 25,600 divided by 1 with 5 zeros there. Okay, and I got that from looking at that I needed to divide by 100 here, then I needed to divide by 1,000 here, and I added up the zeros. All right. Then I need to remember my multiply right, divide left rule, and we're dividing, so I go left. So when we have 25,600, remember the decimal point is here, just after the number, this is where the decimal point is. So I need to move my decimal point left five spaces because there are five zeros. One, two, three, four. And this is where my decimal point is now. So I've moved it from there to the front of the number. And because I like, um, we need to just make our numbers look good, we want to put 0 0.256 kilometers. That's how I got the answer here. Okay, so. Um, this is all the stuff we've, used, we've learned in previous units. You need to bring it all together to use your knowledge to work it out for this unit. All right, now it's your turn. Now I've used the, um, I've put the table down the bottom here for you so that you can use this. Remember, very important to use. I want you to convert to the units shown in brackets. So from kilometers to centimeters, and then for the next one, I want you to convert from millimetres to metres. So pause the video while you do that, please. Okay, I hope you're not being lazy and waiting for me to tell you the answer. I hope you actually worked it out yourself. That is the way you will learn best. Okay, not from me giving you the answers all the time. So... Um, we're going to do the first one, so we want to convert from 6 kilometres to centimetres. So 6 kilometres equals, so we need to multiply from kilometres to centimetres. So 
So we're multiplying. We need to jump through past meters, okay? So we need to, so it's three, one, two, three zeros, four, five zeros from kilometers to centimeters. So we're multiplying by one with one, two, three, four, five zeros. All right, so six kilometers equals, so it's a six with five zeros. Okay, so that's 600,000 centimeters. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. All right, so I hope you got that answer correct. If you didn't, I want you to understand why you didn't get it correct. And make sure you ask me if you need help. Okay, the next one. We have 913,000 millimetres. And we need to convert it to metres. So let's just have a look at our table here. Millimetres to metres. Okay, so we have to divide because we're um, getting larger. So divide by 10 and then 100 so 1 2 3 so we need to divide by 1 with 1000 so it's 913000 divided by 1 with three zeros which is 1000 so 913000 millimeters equals, and so remember we divide left, so remember this is the decimal point, one, two, three, so the answer is, put my decimal point there, 913 meters, alright, so 913 13,000 millimetres equals 913 metres. All right, I hope you did well with that. One last thing that I want you to do is when I get back and when you get back to class and uh, I see you next time, I want you to show me the conversion of your desk measurement from centimetres to metres. So I want you to show me your working out using what you've learnt and... Um, I look forward to seeing that, as well as the other one with how many desks it would take to go for one kilometre of your desks as well. I'll be checking those when I see you next.